Hello guys, um, today it looks like I'll be talking about like the whole Animal Crossing series, and in some ways I am, but mostly I'm going to talk about how anticipated I am for Animal Crossing 3D, and why, on the 3DS obviously. Um, if you saw my GameCube collection and my DS collection, you already know my thoughts on the whole series. Um, really love Animal Crossing, it's among my favorite games of all time. Um, as you know, I love simulation games, and the original Animal Crossing was my favorite. And I love Animal Crossing City Folk almost as much, it's very close. For their own reasons, too. Um, and if you saw my DS uh, collection, you may know that I wasn't actually a big fan of Animal Crossing Wild World, so you may be thinking, why am I excited for Animal Crossing 3D if I, if it's going to be another handheld Animal Crossing and he didn't like the other one? Well, I know a, lo a lot of people loved Animal Crossing Wild World, and that didn't happen. And uh, I can see why this could be a good way to go on the a good way to play the game on the go and everything. You know, everyone just get down. Yeah, okay. Um, but the reason I'm so excited for Animal Crossing 3D now is because I think it really, very much has the potential to be the best Animal Crossing game. Because as the series is often critiqued, you can see. From Animal Crossing GameCube to Animal Crossing Wild World, they made quite a bit of changes. They add, added different like holidays, like the flea markets for school, where you could, where people could come to your house and bid on things, and you could go to theirs. And they added other little features like that, and different accessories for like the head and everything, which really improved the gameplay. But then from Animal Crossing Wild World to City Folk. There weren't many significant changes aside from the, the city, which was uh, also a critique because it didn't really have much. It was pretty much the same things from before, except they're there permanently now. But with Animal Crossing 3D, all this new information is coming out, and I'm becoming more and more excited for it because it's really got the potential to make big changes in the series and make it a huge world. Um. I'm not going to do like an in-depth analysis on all the information or anything or go over every little bit. It's kind of my general hype for the game. Um, the thing is, uh, if you saw the, if you go online, you can find a picture of the town map they actually posted. And it's really huge compared to what we usually have. Um, it's all speculation at this point, but you can see something that looks a bit like the city from City Folk in one of the parts. All at the same time, you can see the makings of a um, train station, like from the original, and all these different parts. But there's also these big and new things, like more towns and more like it's a much more bigger world to explore, which I think is going to be fantastic if they really do that right. Um, and I'm especially going to be looking forward to seeing how, how much bigger they can even make it when they make the jump to the Wii U, which I'm assuming they'll do. Maybe it won't be on the Wii U, but who knows. I'm assuming they'll do the Wii U eventually, I mean. Um, but also, Animal Crossing 3D, you play a completely different role. Um, recently, uh, just now, I just saw Famitsu showed some scans, and then I, wa I watched a video analysis of it. You can find a really good one at youtube.com slash wefolderjosh um, he did a really good analysis of it it wasn't like super in depth but he covered all the basics and it was really good told me all the information I needed to know um, you can see a bunch of new uh, breeds and species of animals um, and also as we all know already if you're keeping up with the Animal Crossing 3D news you'll actually be taking the role of a mayor so as opposed to, uh, probably as opposed to the normal way, when you come into town uh, at, the, at the start, you won't be working for Tom Nook in a part-time job. You'll actually be put in charge. You get to choose where structures are going to be built outside. Because now it's a new thing where you can actually build structures 
outside, and you, and you can actually place furniture and things too, outside. I'm sure you can't just put any furniture outside, but I think you can, there would probably be a specific category of those furniture. There's all these cool stores that are coming about, and it's great that you're seeing so many stores. Um, I'm looking forward to having a lot of diversity in stores. I always thought it would be cool to have more community-focused stores, and to make it feel more like a simulation game that everyone loves. And I'd like to actually see the villagers doing things in the stores more often, like maybe like a library where they're sitting down. I doubt they're doing a library. Because they'll know how they can incorporate it well. But something like a mall, where there's just m tons of stores and everything. Maybe restaurants, incorporate food in the next game somehow. They could do a lot of unique things in this game and blow people away. When they were originally saying um, that it was going to be 2012, but then they, I think they said it was. It didn't show up at E3 at all, which was really disappointing. I wanted to hear more information on that. Um. But they, I think they said it was in 2013 in Europe, so maybe a little more, a little earlier in North America, and definitely earlier in Japan, we'll get it. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. But seeing as it wasn't in E3 at all, it didn't make an appearance, and they uh, backed it up the release date from what we expected with little to no information. I'm thinking either they ran into a huge problem with the um, development of the game, like some huge uh, flaw they needed to fix qu uh, quickly, but it took too long. Um, that, or they really have a ton of ideas. They're just overflowing with ideas they need to throw into the game to make it even bigger and better, which is the one I'm hoping for. They actually have huge things planned they couldn't squeeze into that time frame. I'm hoping the uh, extra time they're giving themselves really helps to make the game huge. Because at this point, I don't see how I couldn't enjoy it. Um, the DS, I felt, was downscaled in many ways, even though, as I said, many people loved it. I didn't see the appeal as much as others. And I much prefer the console experiences. But the 3DS also has the capabilities now to um, feel more like a console game and a full-fledged experience. As opposed to like with the DS, games used to be downgraded versions when there was like a Wii and DS version. DS was always, almost always inferior. Now the 3DS is actually, people often choose that as their console of choice when you have the choice between like Wii and 3D 3DS, and I'm sure people will choose the 3DS many times uh, over the Wii U on the games that are on those two systems, so in the graphics, looking at them already um, now we know that you can have you can actually buy shoes and customize that, some more customization options even though I really don't care about shoes in general in any game, I just toss on whatever shoes looks it's like a dark color shoe or whatever, because shoes aren't the most worthwhile customization in games, but any little thing helps. Um, so I really think Animal Crossing 3D has a huge potential to set the bar above and beyond and show that you know, they didn't run out of ideas for this game. I'm really looking, looking forward to how the whole mayor taking the role as the mayor uh, could definitely revolutionize the whole series and make a unique unique gameplay experience that you can't find anywhere else and will change the series forever. I'm and I really want to know when it's going to come out so I can have money prepared. Cuz I don't want to hear everyone saying how much they love the game and I have to wait as they all go on and on about it being like, "Oh, it's so addicting and everything." Cuz I don't think it can disappoint at this at this point. As you can see with City Folk, many Animal Crossing fans loved it, even though it didn't make many changes. So Animal Crossing fans really aren't hard to please, which is the thing I like about their community. So if they just keep everything they have already right, and just step it above and beyond as much as possible, I'll be all for that. And I'm. This is definitely, pro definitely probably, most likely, I was about to say. That would have been terrible. 
I'd say this is most likely the mo the game I'm most looking forward to um, within the upcoming year and a little bit into the 2013 area. I'm looking forward to the other 3DS games like Paper Mario and Luigi's Mansion. Actually, I have Paper Mario pre-ordered. But that's only because I didn't have a date for Animal Crossing 3D either. And I'm becoming more and more hyped for Animal Crossing and it's exceeded my hype for Paper Mario now. I think actually it's the lack of information itself that has gotten me excited for the game. Because Paper Mario looks like, yeah, now we know the main focus of the gameplay. We know in Animal Crossing that you play as the mayor and that you can decide where structures are built. But there's so many different ways you can go with this. They can, they're definitely ready to impress. This is, it's their, t it's their thing to lose here with this game. Um, definitely my most anticipated 3DS game. I'm hoping it's going to be one that'll keep me hooked to the 3DS for probably years to come because Animal Crossing is really an endless game. It goes in real time. It's often a daily experience for many Animal Crossing fans. And I'm sure the community is going to be great. Now, just thinking about it now, you know, how they have the whole integrated Mario Kart 7 communities and Kid Icarus Uprising, the whole community system. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely expecting something like that now. It could be amazing how they incorporate some sort of community system. I think it would be really cool if you could have a big... Since the town map is so big now, it's not just one town, there's just multiple areas. It would be... Uh, it would be... It would take me away if... It would blow me away. It wouldn't take me away. It would blow me away if they actually integrated a huge, complex community system where you could have tons of people, almost like an MMO. But I don't think they're ready for that big of a change. But just to be able to have, like four or five people together, at least, um, expand from the other Wi-Fi and internet systems now that they have a better system going on here. That could be great to have them all wandering around the town, because you could do, do that in Wild World, you could do that in City Folk, but now that they have all these new community systems that seem to be pleasing everyone, imagine they could set, someone could set up or host a community town or community area that they customized and everyone was involved in, kind of like a Minecraft server. And everyone could come in. Everyone could have a ton of fun. Just like everyone could join in on the community Mario Kart 7 thing. So tell me what you think about that. Do you think it would be cool to incorporate a community style server thing? I think that's a really good potential. And I didn't even know that coming into this. So, so many ideas are popping out now just thinking about it. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Let me know if you are looking forward to Animal Crossing 3D and any other games you're looking forward to in the next, next fiscal year, the next year, or next two years, whatever you, whatever we know about. Um, definitely let me know if you want to see more of these kinds of videos where I just talk about what I'm anticipated in and gush over it. Um, I'm definitely planning on doing a couple more at least. But if you really like it, I will keep doing it. So thanks for the support, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. See you later. Leave a video response if you want.